Hi, this is Tom Matson, and this is going to be a short general overview of the Teleprompter Pro Options page. This will be the first of up to six or seven short tutorials on how to set up, configure, and use Teleprompter Pro. First, I'd like to point out that both the front end and the options page on the back end have been designed to be responsive. Now, what that means is that it doesn't matter whether you have a device with a 3-inch display or if you have a 72-inch monitor. The teleprompter is going to scale and resize to match your screen display size. Now, it also doesn't matter whether you're on a Mac or you're on a PC, or if you're on an iPad, or if you're on an iPhone, or an Android tablet, or a smartphone. The screen that is being displayed is going to match your screen, the device screen. Now, the screen being displayed in this overview is using the Google Chrome browser. And it will look the same on the Firefox browser, the Safari browser, as well as Internet Explorer 2. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to go ahead and scale this up and down just so that you can see what I'm referencing. Now, I'll show you how the front end scales in a subsequent tutorial. But hopefully this gives you a better idea of just the back end. Now, for this general overview, you will notice that there are four columns of options at the top of the options page. On the far left column, you will have 15 color options, including options for everything from the background color of the page to what colors are displayed for bold words or emphasized words. There are font color options for six different headlines, for three additional speakers, for paragraph text, and for other non-paragraph text, such as uh, bullet points and uh, block quotes and such. Now, in the same column, right below the color options, is a really nice option which allows you to import a text file rather than having to copy and paste text or to manually type in your scripted messages into the boxes. Now, we go back up at the top of the second column. Now, you'll notice it is titled Typography Font Families. There are 13 different options for configuring the font families which will display for each element. Now, you can either use the default settings for each headline type, for each speaker, for the spans, for the bolded words, for the emphasized words, for the paragraph text, and for the non-paragraph text. Or, you can change one or more of the font families displayed for each respective element. Configure only the ones that you need to. And as far as that goes, if they default work fine, use those. At the top of the third column, now go to the top of the third column, you can see this is the area where you can set up the font sizes. Now there's currently 11 different font size setup options. Just like the color options and the font family options, you do not need to change any of the font size settings unless you want to. So in other words, if the default settings work for you, then you don't need to waste your time reconfiguring those options. Just drop your text in and hit the button to start the teleprompter. Below the font size options, you will see the option to set the teleprompter speed. The default is set to 1. Now, you can set the speed up to 10, which is really, really, really fast. And unless you're a speed talker or you're running a teleprompter for a hip-hop or rap song with 200 to 300 plus words per minute, you will probably rarely have an occasion to set the teleprompter speed higher than a 2 or a 3. Now, one thing that can factor into that equation, though, is the font size. If the font sizes you are using are larger, then you might need to increase the speed of the teleprompter to adjust for that. You'll just have to play with that a little bit to see where it works best and, and adjust it accordingly. Now, right below the teleprompter speed setting, at the bottom of the third column, you can actually now set a delay before your scripted message begins to start scrolling after you start the teleprompter. Now, this is nice because you can set a delay of anywhere from one second up to 20 seconds to give you time to get your mic turned on, to get in place, to make sure your lighting is right, to clear your throat, or turn off speakers, uh, phone ringers, etc., uh, etc. Et now, the default setting for that is a two-second delay. But again, you can give yourself more time if you need to. 
Now we go back to the top of the page again. If we go up to the setup page in the fourth column at the top right of the screen, you will see that we have options to set the text alignment and text weights for the different elements. There's actually 11 total options in this column. You have right, left, center, and justify element or justify alignment options for those elements. Plus, uh, there's various weights that you can set for bold words as well as for emphasized words. And also, you can select a distinct type style for the second speaker, for the third speaker, and the fourth speakers. Now, below that, on the bottom portion of the setup page, below the four columns of options that we've been talking about, you will see the imported text display box. If you choose to import a text file, it will populate this box with your text immediately. Now, you can either leave the content like it is and start the teleprompter, or you can use the short codes that you can see right below this box to apply some additional formatting for your text. And now below the imported text display box and below the short code list, you're going to find there are 10 boxes where you can either copy and paste in your message, your scripted message, or you can just type it in as you go. Each box has the option to display. You can display as a headline, or you can display it as general content. And you can choose whichever element you want applied to the text in each respective box. Now, you can choose from six different headline styles, or you can use the P option for general paragraph text, and you can have multiple paragraphs in one of those boxes. If you choose the P element, you can also add short codes to your content to provide some additional formatting. Short codes, however, do not work on the headlines. They're only set to be working on the, uh, the general text. So now please note, if you do not select an element type, now the, any text that you have contained in a respective box will not be displayed on the teleprompter screen. This is good for you because you can put it in there uh, if you decide you're not sure you want to display that text or not, you can have that in there and just don't select an element and it won't display. And then you can come back, select an element, and display it as the new element you've just displayed. This overview went a little bit longer than I wanted. I'm going to go into some hands-on use of the teleprompter in a subsequent tutorial or tutorials. So I will see you in the next one.